was born in Germany and uh, went to architecture school actually in Aachen and Delft um, worked in Germany for a while as an architect and then, um, did a master's degree um, here at, uh, at uh, the GSD at Harvard and that's where I met my two partners um, and we um, worked together already in that school and sort of shared interests in, in urbanism and, uh, then decided to continue our collaboration right after graduation. Um, initially, sort of in a more informal way, uh, starting out more as a, as a kind of reading group where we would um, discuss, you know, uh, texts that were coming out. Um, but then soon after, decided to actually turn that into um, an office and um, did a bunch of competitions. Uh, won a couple of them, and then. Sort of turned that you know, more loose engagement into a, a serious uh, office, but it came very much out of that uh, from that side of um, you know interest in the city and in interest in research, and it still plays a big role in our uh, practice. And then we on one hand we do you know pro the kind of projects that architects do, but then on the other hand we just also start out with something that we're interested in, start researching it, and see if it leads any place or if we can get a grant to develop that that, uh, that research. Um, well, I'm from Frankfurt, Germany. My, my parents were architects. I studied architecture I, I, uh, in Darmstadt. Um, and while I was a student, I participated in a competition for a major bank in Frankfurt and, um, with, a, with a colleague, with a, a, a co-student of mine, a friend. And we won second place unexpectedly. It's a kind of a huge project, and um, we we it was very scary in a way uh, because we now had to there was a second phase to this, so we now had to kind of show what we really were able to do. We thought like initially it may have been an accident or like a mistake that we you know got second place. So we 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 we. Um, um, panicked, and we, t we tried to team up with an with an Amer with an, with a German firm that would know how to build banks. But it turned out that all those firms had participated in the competition, had lost, and they were not allowed to join with us. So the next best step was to go where do they you know where are the big banks and um, it's New York. So we, you know, we went to New York and uh, we talked to Richard Meyer and asked him whether he wanted to become part of our team, and he said. Um, he, he said, like, well, you could work for me. I said, no, no, that's not. <laughs> we had this major competition. So he sent us to John Haydock to Cooper Union, and uh, um, where I eventually met um, Todd Williams, whom we worked with, because Todd had worked for Richard Meyer. And in those days, Richard Meyer was sort of like the you know, new star of, uh, uh, architect from, from young, young architects. This was 1979 or something from America. So, like, and then, so in that process, we came. Eventually, he worked with Todd on this project. We got, um, we didn't win it ultimately, needless to say. But um, I applied to Cooper, to Cooper Union at the time. Um, and at the same time, we found out that we didn't win the second stage of competition. The same week, I got an acceptance to Cooper Union. That was for me kind of a sign that I had to pack my bags and come here. Um, and of course, first I thought I'd come here for a semester or two and then go back to Germany, but once I was at Cooper Union, I, um, I took a class with Peter Eisenman, um, who, who was also a sort of funny story because uh, I took his class and was reading Tafuri and I didn't understand the words that, uh, that was sort of going on in this class and I told him I, I couldn't continue in the class. I said, like, look, you know, none of these kids understand anything, so you may as well join which I did, and then he asked me to work with him on the project in Berlin, a competition uh, in Berlin, which we won, and so I ended up staying with him for almost 10 years and became his you know, uh, um, sort of design partner over time. And, and um, yeah, that's uh, how I ended up in New York. And in those days, New York, I mean, when I was in, in Darmstadt, the school, it was either Rome, which was, you know, where we want to go, which was for the Romantics, or it was New York for the kind of hardcore uh, uh, but America had, um, um, I mean, the, the draw of America it had this kind of intellectual, uh, academic context that Germany is not so strong at, you know, it wasn't so strong at, at the time. 
Um, um, you know, so this is something that I, that which drew me here, and um, yeah, so I stayed. You know, thirty something years later, I'm still here. I graduated from um, Kaiserslautern um, in uh, 1998. Um, had then the opportunity um, to, um, and at that time, um, in, you know, German architecture or the German landscape in architecture. Um, was a little bit deserted, um, so there were two opportunities. One is going to the Netherlands, the other one is going to Austria. So I chose to work in Austria um, for two years um, with um, projects in, in Germany, but anyway the same, same architectural landscape, um, and um, had um, applied for a um, um, stipendium over the DIAD um, for Colombia, and that brought me to New York. Um, I came to New York when I was 19 for a internship prior to my architecture studies at Null International. That was in Soho, a very exciting time, right? So um, really young, um, having the chance to work in Soho was great. Um, then the second time I did my um, um, internship at IMPE um, while he was um, building the Zeug House in, in Berlin. Um, so I worked um, on that, which was a um, great experience as well. And when I then started my master program here, I had already um, a good good setup. Um, and in a way, I was not intending to stay, but um, it was not out of the question. Yeah. Manifold Architecture Studio was um, founded in 2004 from um, Kit um, van Dalvik and myself. Um, going out as a partnership, um, starting in, um, in our own loft, um, and then since um, a couple of years we have our own office. Well, I uh, was born uh, in a small town uh, near Trier, Germany, uh, the oldest city in, in Germany, very architecturally, very rich, and uh, my family had a uh, woodworking, uh, or it still has a woodworking business, which my brother, who's older, uh, was supposed to take over. And uh, my parents always had in mind I become the architect, and uh, we collaborate together. Uh, it didn't work out that way, but sometimes we still uh, collaborate on small scale together. But uh, I was educated as well as an uh, architect at the Fachhochschule in Trier. And after graduating, worked uh, first at, for a professor of mine in Trier for a year and then relocated to uh, a small town near Frankfurt and uh, worked there in Wiesbaden at an office. And um, being located in Frankfurt, I um, got acquainted and introduced to the Städelschule Academy of Fine Arts, uh, which had a, a very small architectural program uh, conceptual design and it was very um, informative in terms of shaping my uh, way of thinking about architecture. And uh, I studied there for three years and uh, the uh, head of the architecture department retired and I did not want to wait for a successor and so I took a semester off and traveled to first time to the US and at that time, this was right at the beginning where postmodernism was the hot topic of discussion. Frank Gehry had built his first house. So I did a little small tour of various schools, and uh, the idea was maybe to come here for two years, study or work. Um, and uh, on that initial trip, I met my wife, who is American. And that, of course, changed uh, the parameters altogether. And, I decided in '83 to uh, uh, move to New York and uh, see how it goes. And soon thereafter, I arrived. I actually met my business partner, uh, David Pascaskas, and we started working together. Um, and uh, with two other partners, formalized uh, the firm 1100 Architect. Uh, two of them later on, uh, in later years, um, moved on to uh, do their own practices and uh, David and myself stayed on as 1100 architect and the um, name comes from the room we founded the firm which was room 1100 um, and uh, we liked that name because it 
stayed very um, open uh, in terms of also our philosophy that uh, architecture is a collaborative process. And in the early days, we really literally were taught that process with having to work, uh, not having to work, but having really fun with working for uh, artists, uh, younger and very established ones, like Jasper Johns, Roy Lichtenstein, and really having a very um, uh, intellectual exchange and dialogue. Uh, lots of discussion, very intense, about uh, feelings of rooms, spaces, uh, how they wanted to live, and it was uh, very informative years which still, uh, to this day, inform how we approach each and every project. The reason why I came to New York uh, for a longer period of time is because I was simply not accepted at architecture school in Germany. So I did go to architecture school there and applied to a school in New York, Pratt Institute. And once I started going to school, initially with the intention of, of leaving after a while, I loved it here. And I think this happens to a lot of people. Yeah, in, uh, initially I came uh, to New York because I had a scholarship uh, from the uh, German Exchange Service, the DAAD, for postgraduate studies. And I had, had just applied in time before my d uh, German degree was too old. So I met their requirements and was lucky to get that scholarship and uh, intended to just do one year at Parsons. Then I just kept basically extending because the uh, uh, situation for architects in Germany was poor, like the econ economy wasn't doing well. I came here in 99 and um, so and at one point I just uh, stopped extending and decided, so now I'm here. Before I moved to New York, I uh, lived in Berlin. And I moved to Berlin actually um, for uh, going to college. Um, that was uh, back in the late 1980s. And uh, I um, lived there uh, for roughly 15 years before I came to New York. Um, I. I uh, went to uh, college there, I graduated from college and I uh, worked in various offices there. And it was actually interesting because it was exactly the time where uh, the Berlin Wall came down and so there was a vast area that needs to be uh, uh, filled with, uh, with design, with urban design and actual um, architectural design. Uh, towards the uh, late 1990s uh, that was done and um, uh, I felt that um, I needed uh, another challenge and New York was always an exciting uh, place to me. I visited New York uh, many times um, uh, before I actually moved here and uh, I, found, uh, I found it very um, uh, exciting in, uh, in regards to the diversity uh, that New York has to offer. So it's a very multicultural uh, place. Uh, the cultures are actually not um, uh, it's not a melting pot uh, per se because the cultures are actually segregated uh, so you get in touch with uh, with many different uh, people with many different backgrounds and it feels kind of raw and original um, and uh, that is what always excited me about uh, New York. It was a funny little uh, story I'm, I met my wife actually in uh, Los Angeles and uh, she had the like a similar idea and she always wanted to uh, live in New York as well so uh, the interesting aspect is that um, New York City is the geographic center between Berlin and Los Angeles. So um, we met here many times and we both really liked the city and uh, we thought that this is uh, the right place to be and to live and to work. Uh, so we made that decision and uh, we moved to New York actually one week prior to September 11. So that was... Um, a very challenging start uh, to to get um, to get settled here.